Kia ora koutou, Jen Tyson back with another uh, Raising Our Voices recording for our YouTube channel. And today I have got a really lovely uh, fellow wahine in the uh, construction industry, Alice Carmody. Alice is currently a QS at Choice Construction Group and she's also uh, a director there. And she is the current treasurer for the Wellington Narwick chapter. So Alice has chosen to come along from a very real environment, as you can see in the background there. We've got all sorts of construction noises. So please excuse in advance if that uh, interrupts some of what we're doing, but it's a real environment, so what can we say? So, Alice, um, would you like to introduce yourself and what your current role is? Sure. Yeah, so I said I'm Alice Carmody. Um, I've been in construction for about 20 years now. My current role, I have a day job, my technical job, which is quantity surveyor. Uh, in that role, I do a lot of uh, feasibility, pricing, running of projects right through to the end to close out a project, final accounts. Um, we focus a lot on commercial fit outs. We do a lot of hospital work, um, seismic strengthening, that kind of commercial construction. My other hat on the other side is my director role. So that's for um, running the business. There's myself and three others. So it's a group collaborative effort. Um, but within that, yep, I'm the 25% woman. I'm holding it for all the other wahines out there too, which is great to see. So that does all the business development. I've got um, portfolios of HR and health and safety. I have to laugh like that whoever's doing that banging was not doing that before right and we start talking and it's like bang bang so maybe they just want to be in our video right so yeah. <laughs> awesome that's great thank you so what originally got you into the world of construction and quantity surveying well I call myself a career construction girl because I started at the beginning and I've just gone straight through so I haven't had any changes along my path um, and literally, it was recruitment at Polytech Open Day. I went along there. I was um, interested in arts and sciences and could do English and things like that. And just got talking to Keith Powers, for the quantity surveyors out there who know him, he's a bit of a legend. Um, and he was explaining that and basically equated it as being like a building accountant. And I was like, oh yeah, I could do that. Um, to firm that up for me a bit more, I actually had a year overseas um, after my last high school year because my dad was working. We were in Malaysia and I couldn't work or do anything else. So I ended up going to uni university there for the first year um, of doing quantity surveying. So it kind of gave me like a little taster. I then came back to New Zealand, enrolled full time at Christchurch Polytech um, and then the rest is history from there. It's awesome. I like that career uh, a career girl so it's kind of you gone boop, 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 through the career it's nice that you found that through inspiration through someone else which is why we're kind of doing these videos right is that somebody might be listening and go oh I think I could do that so that's a really cool story so what do you love about what you do I for me a lot of it's about the people it's also about what you produce and how that can last and stand the test of time you know how people use a space all the good that you build and bring out of it from there, you know, that overall holistic. But really it is about the people in those spaces and how we can serve each other. So as everyone will agree with, the worst jobs are the ones when no one's on the same page, you're all at each other's throats. Basically it's um, really bad, I won't use any other expletives. The polar opposite of that, where everyone's on the same page, you're all working to a common goal, you've all got some real good clear objectives. And especially, perhaps there might be a little bit of a, a higher one in there, you know, is it a community group or is it um, doing social housing, you know, um, but even bringing that just to the base level of you're producing a need for someone and fulfilling and helping them achieve what they need, that's often the real driver. And also some projects are just glamorous and beautiful and they're great to do. We've done a restaurant and, you know, Beautiful lights, twinkly, sparkly things over here. There's, there's those ones you've just got to do every now and then that give you that little bit of excitement and that little bit of extra, extra, you know, that make you really proud. Yeah. And that's for me, the things that I can talk about later um, that you can say, oh, yeah, we were part of this. Or nice. Even now, how you hear your history stories, and let's say someone says, um, I was in the first wastewater treatment for Wellington, or, you know, I helped build um, the first hospital in Bluff, you know, all those kind of history stories. Yeah. It's great to have the engagement that way. Yeah, that's really cool. And my dad was an architect, is an architect, he's still practicing, um, and he's just about to turn 80, and 
I, as a child, when he used to help with restaurants like the Genghis Khan in Wellington, he designed that restaurant. That's his friend who owns it. And we went to the launch and the opening, even as a teeny child. I remember going, oh, my dad did this. You know, and I tell people about it with pride. So I think that's really cool to be able to tell your story with pride, but also your children, because you have a couple of kids, you know, be able to go, my mum was involved in that. And so um, the pride, you know, is also generational too, which is cool. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And so what would you like to see for the future of women in construction? Obviously, you're involved in NARWIC. How long have you been in NARWIC? Probably eight years. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you've got some pretty good ideas around what you'd like to see. What would you like to see? Yeah, I would like to see, I would like to see more of the confidence coming through. And it is coming. Um, I refer now to like the second or third generation of women coming through you know we had a lot of those ceiling glass breakers it has happened still some areas where it needs to be pushed through but a lot of it you know we have it's not the first electrician it's not the first plumber we're now getting the generations which is really great um but i think just sometimes that bit more of that confidence of yep we got this girls we are going and we can do it um and also recognition of the so the construction industry is broad, you know, and it has all sorts of fingers and pies out there. You know, it's the sales administrators, the reps, um, the suppliers, all those people who actually support the industry and are part of it and reliant on it. And there's a lot of women out there too. Um, I guess I've got a general question of some of the statistics, you know, where they say this many people are in construction. And I think they classify that just as like the construction workers, you know, the actual on the tools. We were to look and see how many women support their husbands and partners in their businesses, you know, a, a little business, often husband and wife team. There's a woman in there, but you know. Yeah. Does she consider yeah. herself? Yeah, yeah, does she does consider she... herself a construction professional? And she is, because you know, she is part of that business and that's that other half upholding yeah. everything else that's going on. So I think in that there too. Um, and we are becoming more visible but it's ripples in the pool at the moment so i want to see those into waves you know nice we have that tsunami effect coming and it's coming but yeah. just need to get there and i think that's the cool thing about being part of something like now work um if there's somebody listening who's not a member of something like this you know that's one of the reasons people join an organization like now work because you can the more people creating the ripples the more likely there are to become waves right so yeah. um it's kind of that collective effort together everybody achieves more that sort of acronym for teams so that's really be cool and in, in, in closing do you have any tips or thoughts for anybody considering or considering a career change or anything like that well it's all one big family really i've already talked about how it's a big industry and it's quite wide and it is but also it's in the same way it's very small um you know there's only so many construction firms there's only so many crane hire places there's only so many scaffold companies and folks who might be on one job you're probably likely to be on another one later on so it is definitely about not burning bridges um being your best self but also trying to find you know the best in the jobs and the projects that you're doing so you can bring those forward to the next time too and just give it a go you know if you're not sure talk to someone there's a lot of whether it's reaching out to the Narwick board or someone else you know, there's a lot of people who would just be happy like this to sit for a couple of minutes, ask a few questions, whether it's the whole, oh, how do I find women's clothes, um, you know, safety gear that fits me. Tick, yep, we can answer that one, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, what, 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 how flexible are people with employment? Tick, that's getting much better. Um, can I study and can I do work at the same time? Yes, there's lots of options like that. So I think if you're thinking about it, the fact that if you are even thinking about it remotely, push it and look into it more because it means you've got some interest or some yeah. connection there um, and that's worth following up. Yeah, and it's that whole transferable skills conversation that you can have yeah, with someone as well. So that's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alice. We really appreciate your input. And uh, you can find Alice at the Nowit Wellington meetings <laughs> and online if you want to catch her personally or any of us. Yeah. And or hanging so out on here on Dixon Street, looking yeah. at the construction around Wellington. Thanks to the construction teams behind me who have provided a great backdrop and seating. They have, and some great background music. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for listening. That's all from us today. Kaki day. Kaki day.